calendar. Today, January 26, marks three years since L.A. County reported its first COVID-19 case. L.A. County Public Health Director Barbara Ferrer acknowledging that during her weekly COVID briefing today where we learned COVID metrics continue to improve in L.A. L.A. County remains in the low community transmission level, having avoided a post-holiday surge. The county now averaging 960 new daily cases. That's down from 1,100 last week. Daily hospital admissions are also down down, falling 50% since just the start of this year to an average of 104 admissions per day. Deaths, a lagging indicator, falling only slightly this week from an average of 20 per day to 19. Now, given the overall progress of the past three years, I asked Ferrer her thoughts on the state of the pandemic. Here's that. I read an article uh, today titled COVID-19 is no longer a public health emergency. This is from a acclaimed epidemiologist. Yeah. Do you agree with that? I would use a definition of emergency that really allows us to classify um, uh, increases that we're seeing in preventable diseases as, you know, there's an urgent need to continue to act. Um, but we are nowhere near the emergency we were at before. It's great news. Now, Ferrer's comments come as a COVID state of emergency is set to expire in the city of L.A. on February 1st, nearly three years after being enacted in March of 2020. California's state of emergency, meanwhile, runs through February 28th, so that will soon end. The national public health emergency was recently extended through April.